Some NFL teams have different ways of picking their captains. One team may hold a player vote, while others may be appointed by the coaching staff. In Miami, under head coach Mike McDaniel, it's the former, as the Dolphins announced their 2022 captains this week, and, for the first time, cornerback Tua Tagovailoa earned that honor. During media availabilities this week, when McDaniel was asked if Tagovailoa being named captain is a stamp of leadership, he confirmed that belief, well, absolutely. I firmly believe that, so captains represent the players, right? That's the whole position so the way we approach it here is that the players vote for who they want to represent them as captain, and seeing how it was a point system, and the resounding highest point winner was Tua, I think it says everything, I think that's incredibly important. When it's done with the right reasons with the right intent, and that was the only thing that I gave the players was like, who do you want? Representing you, each and every game. Who do you want to wear the C, and understand what that C means on your jersey? And I think it speaks volumes on where he's at with the team and their belief in him. McDaniel, and a number of Tagovailoa's teammates, have done nothing but prop up the quarterback, as he enters a season that brings a ton of pressure. However, he continues to evolve, and it's evident to even new players like Taron Armstead, him specifically, it's my first time being around him. But just from these last several months I've seen growth, Armstead said. I've seen confidence, I've seen just his love and passion for the game. That just speaks volumes to him, how he approaches his job every day and we are 100% behind him. He is the captain, so he's the one that we are all following and he's going to lead us to wherever we got to go. Tagovailoa is surrounded by those who believe in him. Now, he just has to go out and prove them right. The Miami Dolphins had an extremely tough decision to make earlier in the week with rosters needing to be trimmed to 53 players to meet the league's protocols, they could either keep 7th-round rookie Skylar Thompson on the active roster or waive him and hope that he clears waivers to sign him back to the practice squad, obviously, the latter was a huge risk, and it was one that the Dolphins apparently weren't comfortable taking. General Manager Chris Greer and Head Coach Mike McDaniel spoke about a number of the transactions that happened in the cutdown. And they explained why they made the choice to keep a player, in Thompson, that they hope doesn't see the field in 2022, yeah. He played very well, Greer said, agreeing that it was a no-brainer. Again, another guy that comes in, he just works every day, won over his teammates through his work ethic, and he went out and balled. Another one where we got calls again, people asking what we were going to do and they're all saying, you know, you guys would be stupid to let him go. And there was no thought about us doing that. McDaniel jumped in at the end, we're not in the business of being stupid, he said, Thompson's performance in the preseason was impressive, as he finished 8th in passing yards, 450, first in touchdowns, 5, and first in quarterback rating 138.4 without throwing an interception. I haven't heard of a good football team that their problem was they had too many good quarterbacks, McDaniel said. They touched the ball every play. So it's not about, you can go, through, a lot of draft classes over a long period of time, and if you're holding your breath for a player out of the seventh round to play like he did in the preseason, you're going to pass out. That's why, it's just because you don't just scoff and look the other way when you have a player playing well at that position. Those are things that if you let those slip through your fingers, you'll end up regretting that forever. If he had been waived, there was a strong chance that he was claimed, and while it's hard to expect anything from a seventh-round rookie, the Dolphins believe that they may have found a nice developmental quarterback to mold.